Here's the news afternoon. First, the highlights. The Lagos State Government engages religious leaders on sexual, gender-based violence. The Russian State Governor set up committee to resolve ongoing strike by Judiciary Staff Union. And France in Israel frees two hostages in Raf, Rafa under cover of airstrikes. And in sports, Lagos State Governor Hill Super Eagles performance at 2023 Afghan tournament. And now the details, I am Mike James. The government, through the Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, has engaged about 200 religious leaders on SGBV, as well as the role of religious clerics in preventing and responding to the vicious menace. The Executive Secretary, DSVA, Titilola Vivo Adeni, explained that the invited participants were made to come through the laws in order to learn the intricacies of the document and to know that one of the major aims of the domestic violence law is to prevent domestic violence from happening and that can be achieved through a restraining order granted by the court. A continuous call for sensitization by the government and stakeholders was made as the participants advocated for an end to domestic and sexual violence and also enjoined victims of, and survivors to break the culture of silence and escalate the case to their appropriate quarters in order to access justice. Lingus State Fire and Rescue Service and other emergency responders have responded to a fire emergency in the vicinity of Star Road by Horizon Heights, Ikate Elegushi, Leki, Lagos. The incidents which involved residential makeshift structures encompassing approximately an acre of land occurred at 10.50 p.m. on Sunday. Director of Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service, Margaret Adishaya, in a statement said firefighters from Muniru and Leki Phase 2 arrived at 11 o'clock in the morning to contain the fire employing defensive fighting, firefighting tactics to prevent its spread to upscale properties and mitigate further potential threat. Adesha noted that the fire was challenging to control due to the involvement of 6 to 5 camp gas canisters, which posed an explosion risk. According to her, investigation into the cause of the fire revealed that it originated from one of the rooms within shanties behind an estate before extending to nearby structures. The Nigerian Union of Pensioners, the NUP, has raised alarm over the increasing debt of members due to economic hardship in the country. Its president, Godwin Abumisi, says no fewer than 1,500 members have died in recent times due to economic hardship and high cost of living. Abumisi says many members across the country are earning as low as 500 naira and 1,000 naira as monthly pensions especially in the southeast states. According to him, states that pay very low pension also include Borono, Niger, 4,000 naira, Gombe, 8,000 naira, Jigawa, 12,000 naira, Katsina, 7,000 naira, Kogi, Taraba, 5,000 naira, Kwara, 3,000 naira, among others. And now to the rest of the stories. Russian State Governor Adimola Adeleke has set up a seven-man committee to resolve the ongoing strike by the state branch of the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, Justin. A segmentation by his spokesperson, Olawale Rashid, says the governor had also written a letter to the Attorney General of the Federation and the Chief Justice of Nigeria to assist in resolving the Justin crisis. Rashid says the governor set up the committee with a direct mandate to get the dispute resolved, noting that his action is aimed at restoring normalcy and not interfering in the judicial arm of government. According to him, the new intervention by Governor Adeleke followed his previous efforts, which included the payment of withheld salaries of some judicial staffers, negotiations on wardrobe allowances, and the recent hosting of the national leadership of the Judicial Staff Union. Nurses under the ages of the National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives, Abuja Chapter, have protested against the new verification certification guidelines released by the Nigeria and Midwifery Council of Nigeria. 
The nurses expressed displeasure over what they described as an attempt to hinder their freedom to pursue career opportunities, asking the council to address nurses' welfare, salary skill, shortage of staff and other rights. The protest was carried out at the association's office in Abuja. It had earlier issued a circular revising the guidelines for requesting verification of certificates for nurses and midwives. And over to some foreign news, Israel has freed two Israeli Argentinian hostages in Rafah under the cover of airstrikes. Local health officials said the airstrikes killed 67 Palestinians and wounded dozens in the southern Gaza city that is the last refuge of about a million displaced civilians. A joint operation by the Israeli military and other security services freed the hostages. According to reports, the two men were kidnapped by Hamas from Kibbutz near Yizak on October 7, among some 250 people who Israel says were seized during the militant raid that triggered its war on Gaza. The Argentinian government thanked Israel for the rescue of the two men who were dual nationals of Argentina. And over to sports news, Lagos State Governor Baba Jide Sondo has hailed the Super Eagles for their performance at the just concluded 2024 Africa Cup of Nations Afghan in Cote d'Ivoire. So we'll said the players deserve commendation for their superb performance in the competition despite losing at the final stage. The governor commended the players, the coaching crew and the entire management of the team for making Nigeria proud at the competition by reaching the final against all odds. He said the Super Eagles fought gallantly to, achieve, to advance to the final of the Africa Cup of Nations by defeating many countries, noting that the participation of the team in the final is a testament to the determination, resilience and commitment of the Super Eagles to the competition. Gamba Solu, who provided venues for Lagos residents to watch the Afghan marches at the Mobilaji Johnson Sports Arena and 26 other centers across the state, urged Nigerians to continue to support national teams in future competitions. And that was our news at 12, but just before we go, slow down at road junctions, intersections and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X family Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961, which is live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Sawulu administration trained 280 unemployed youths with global certification on solar farm construction technology for the supply of electricity in Nigeria? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website and to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. <laughs> The Lagos State Government, through the Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, has engaged about 200 religious leaders on SGBV, as well as the role of religious clerics in preventing and responding to the vicious menees. Osho State Governor Ademola Adelike has set up a seven-man committee to resolve the ongoing strike by the state branch of the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, JUSIN. We also told you that Israel has freed two Israeli Argentinian hostages in Rafah under the cover of airstrikes, which local health officials said killed 67 Palestinians and wounded dozens in the southern Gaza city. And then in sports, legacy governor Baba Jidison has hailed the Super Eagles for their performance at the just concluded 2024 Africa Cup of Nations Afghan in Cote d'Ivoire. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at lagosstate.gov.ng. That ends the news broadcast. It was compiled by Adirayodu Olaya. Thank you for listening. My name is Mike James. A beautiful Monday afternoon to you, Lagos. It's now time for me to step aside for Micah Arocha. You'll be here for fire service calling. Do have a wonderful time.
Today, this message is from Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, moving Lagos forward.
Bobo, they drive JJ on top of the road. My name is Aramita. Remember, say safety day very important. Making it safe should be at top most eight. Niggas for everyone that passes. You can't be proud of your chin. I'm pouring in the swell at the same time. You don't need your candle on when you're sleeping. Have a nice to go shot home and turn off your gadgets before you go. And we will build a safer life. 